Keila Nihanda. Just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make navy bean soup. Mmm. First things first, I have my navy beans. I use one pound of navy beans and then I rinse them thoroughly, making sure I take out any dark beans or any rocks that might be in the bag. I'm gonna rinse them and wash them until the water is clear. I use a light soap and once I do that, I let it sit in the pot for eight hours or overnight. I let mine sit overnight and once that's done, I'll rinse them again and make sure that the water is clear and ready to boil. It's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours to cook so I start the temperature off pretty high. Once you start seeing the white foam rise to the top, just scrape that foam right off. A half stick of butter or if you're vegan you can use olive oil. So I use bay leaves, I use about three or four bay leaves, a whole onion, yeah don't bite into it. I use a garlic bulb, the majority of it, and sea salt. Once the beans start boiling, go ahead and add your bay leaves. Let the beans boil with the bay leaves for about 45 minutes to an hour and while you're doing that you can start prepping. I'm assuming y'all know how to cut an onion, but just in case y'all don't, watch me. Yeah, cut it so I can peel it all. And then I cut it in half. And then I start cutting the edges, where you'll see more of the little wrapping. Take that off and then throw it away. And start to cut it long ways. Oh, I'm starting to cry. I'm starting to cry. Cut it, keep cutting it till it's smaller. I'm crying. Oh, voila. There you go. Put it in a bowl. And now I'm about to cut the garlic. Voila. After about 45 minutes, I add my butter. Let the butter soften the beans for about 20 minutes. Now that your beans are soft, you can go ahead and add your onion, your garlic, and your butter is already in the pot or your olive oil, so just stir that together. It should be getting soft and creamy. And then you can go ahead and add your sea salt and you're gonna add a, a good amount. Now that's the classic recipe for navy bean soup by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. However, you know, black folks, we always add in something. So let me show you what I add. A couple dashes of turmeric. Cayenne pepper. garlic and herb Mrs. Dash and a whole tomato What did you tell him? What's behind your back? Elijah Mohammed's How to Eat to Live. I knew it. Just what joy do you get out of trying to crush all of my dreams, Huey? Do you know how long I wanted to own my own restaurant? Three weeks at Sunday dinner. That was the first time you mentioned it. And you only started doing the stupid Sunday dinner thing because you saw soul food on cable. This is that book, yeah. How to Eat to Live. It's one of the best, actually it's like the best bean for us to eat. And it's a small bean, we should stay away from big beans like lima beans and kidney beans. Those are called belly busters because they are really rough on your stomach's lining. So I'll read a little bit of the back of the book. The teachings of Muhammad. For more than 30 years, Messenger Elijah Muhammad has been teaching the so-called Negroes of America on the proper foods to eat to improve their mental power, physical appearance, for prevention of illness, curing of ailments, and prolonging life. All of the stuff that I've learned as far as like proper eating and the best foods to eat come from this book and the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. So you can go on finalcall.com to get your book, your copy of How to Eat to Live. Yes. This is the only book that has from God in person on it. 
Master Farad Muhammad, Allah came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, and he has given us instructions on how to eat, what to store in your houses, everything, how to dress, everything. Can you hear those beans boiling? Yes, yes. Those are the beans in the background boiling. Now these beans actually, it's taken a long time for these beans to soften, like longer than usual. It shouldn't take that long for your beans to soften. Um, it takes a while, like maybe an hour and a half, but for the most part, these beans have been cooking for a minute and sometimes if they don't get um, soft, they're probably bad beans, like stale beans or something. It's Akila Nihanda. I was just. Peace, y'all. It's Akila Nihanda. Gonna teach y'all today how. Mm.